Hey everybody, Santa back again, another video here uh, on the 15th. The uh, chainsawing's all done. Uh, we got another 28 pieces of a post from the last two trees. We did have to take down one more coconut palm, the one I kind of showed you. I'll show you again here. And then the, uh, the other guy's beam and his sons, they're working on the posts uh, position, positioning, uh, putting a couple posts up. And Catherine and James are taking naps. Uh, Catherine's in the bedroom, James is in the hammock here. And we're filling the swimming pool, but I have to keep uh, turning the water off uh -oh. until the pump. I just turned it on! I turn it off when the when the pump goes on and fills up the water tank she thinks I'm turning it off she don't know what I'm doing she has to make a comment about everything so he finished the one side of the wall now he's doing this side And here's how they position the, uh, the posts, every two meters. So we actually have 68 posts, because he got 28 the last time, and 40 yesterday. So they're taking their time doing them right, making them nice and straight. Starts all the way at the edge here, as you can see. Good thing I got the post hole digger. I think it comes in handy for him. Of course, I don't know how hard it is. This uh, this dirt is pretty pretty hard. So I don't know how long the post hole digger will hold up. <laughs> that was uh, 900 pesos in Cabana Tuan. We'll see. We'll see if it holds up. And then they put the line down here so so they know everything's straight level and it'll go all the way up and over to the street and they already coated the bottoms with oil as I said to keep the bugs out and once all this is done uh, we're gonna call our friend Albon he owns uh, hardware in town and he's gonna give us truckloads of dirt for a thousand pesos a truckload or a thousand one one maybe like twenty twenty two dollars a load and then he's also got a uh, front loader I call it a bulldozer he's the one that pushed the rocks from our beach uh, He's going to bring that and flatten everything out and straighten everything out for us too. We just have to pay him a little extra for that. So that'll be good. So we're moving right along one step at a time. Everything's going good. Here's the finished wall on this side. Took them a day and a half to do that section, so we'll see how long it takes them to do the other side. I predict uh, like three, four days. <laughs> but this is the other one we took down. This is the one that was close to the kitchen here. Uh, this one doesn't necessarily have to be taken down all the way to the ground because we're not driving this way. But uh, these do.
So that's it everybody that tells you what's going on. I got a monitor uh, filling the swimming pool. It takes a long time. Even though it's not super big. I wish I had the, uh, the black tubing over here that fills the mountain water. Then I wouldn't care how long it took because it's just keeps flowing. The pump doesn't have to be kicked on for that. But we don't have that. We thought about getting it at one point, but we didn't, never got it. But maybe someday we'll get the mountain water line. You just have to buy the black tubing. And then you have to uh, find out whose tank it is that everybody uses here. And you have to pay them a certain amount of money to hook into their tank. But you got uh, you got three people using it right here, and then there's a lot more down this way. But these are three three homes that are using it. So Beam already told everybody about their electrical lines and their water lines. People are starting to move them now. Which is good. I don't see as many. Uh, but I still see a lot right here in these trees here. I'll show you again. Here. There's all kinds of lines. In these trees. But we're not going to come in and out this way anymore. So unless they're in our way. I'm not going to worry about it. And then right after the right away is done, then we work on the next project, which is probably closing off this wall. That's going to be a little more expensive because the whole wall has got to be closed in from here all the way to the end of the house. Let me show you all the way to there. I don't know how many meters that is. But uh, how they build walls, you have to pay per section. Like from post to post, that's one section. Um, so each section they do, depending on how high it is, will probably go like six foot. Some people go eight foot. Uh, it's a certain amount of money. I'm not really sure. I have to double check on that. But yeah, we got to do that. We got to do that. And then we're going to put like a little, little door... Uh, somewhere like maybe right here so we can go in and out and also if we have deliveries or visitors just walking they can come in this way instead of going all the way around or to going through the beach way so we'll put a little door probably metal for an access point makes sense right um that's it man i'm gonna go chill out it's hot. it's hot these guys are working out in the sun we already gave them lunch and there's always cold water nice tea for them i gotta turn this off again okay so thanks for watching everybody make sure you like and subscribe santa claus over and out. God bless.